Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sandeep Verma, Consultant Neurosurgeon, Pace Hospital. Today we are going to discuss about scoliosis. Scoliosis is a condition in which there will be abnormal curvature of the spine. Normally on side view there will be three curvatures of the spine, cervical curvature, dorsal curvature, lumbar. But when we see from the front and back, if there is any abnormal curvature in the spine, it is called scoliosis. Normally when seen from the front or back, spine will be in a straight line. But if there is any abnormal curvature, it is called scoliosis. There are broadly four different types of scoliosis. First one which is most common is idiopathic. In this, the cause is usually not known. Second, congenital. This occurs due to any genetic abnormalities during development in the inside the uterus. Third one is neuromuscular scoliosis. This occurs due to any conditions or problems with the nervous system or muscular system. Examples are cerebral palsy, spina bifida, muscular dystrophy. Fourth type is degenerative scoliosis. This occurs in old age due to degenerative changes in the spine such as disc disease, arthritis, etc. Scoliosis usually present with very vague or mild symptoms such as any curvature in the back, imbalance in the level of the shoulder or hip, small vague back pain or in severe conditions it may cause symptoms such as breathing difficulties and easy fatigability. Scoliosis usually diagnosed on clinical examination. When a doctor examines the patient, he can observe the curvature of the spine. Another diagnostic method is X-ray in which AP and lateral whole spine X-rays are taken and angle of the curvature is measured. And more definitive diagnosis is done by CT and MRI which will be useful to identify any other conditions causing the scoliosis. Scoliosis is treated based on the COPS angle or angle of the curvature of the spine. For mild cases, only observation will be enough. Some symptomatic pain medication will be useful. Moderate cases, bracing and physical therapy exercises will help. In severe cases of scoliosis, surgery is the only option. As most of the cases are idiopathic and cause is not known, it is very difficult to prevent scoliosis. But degenerative scoliosis can be prevented if we maintain good spine health. Mild scoliosis doesn't need any correction. Just simple observation is enough. Moderate scoliosis can be corrected or stop progression can be stopped using bracing and physical exercises. Severe scoliosis can be corrected using only surgery. There is no other option for that. Yes, in some conditions, when the child is of growing age or when the neurodegenerative condition increases, scoliosis worsens over time with scoliosis angle increasing slowly with each progressing year. Scoliosis in itself is not a disability in mild cases, but in severe cases it can affect daily activities of the patient as it may cause back pain, easy fatigability, breathlessness. Because of the scoliosis, patient won't be able to do his day-to-day -day activities or lead a healthy life. As scoliosis is genetic, idiopathic scoliosis tends to run in families. If the pa parents have scoliosis, there is a good chance the child may also develop scoliosis. Poor posture as such won't cause scoliosis in a normal patient. But if a patient has scoliosis, poor posture will worsen the condition and will increase the progression of the scoliosis curve. Yes, scoliosis affects the normal spine balance. So, in long run, patients with scoliosis have a high chance of developing sciatica and lumbar disc disease. There are some criteria when surgery is done for scoliosis. If the angle at diagnosis is more than 45 to 50 degrees 
or if there is progression of scoliosis more than 10 degrees per year or if the patient is having severe respiratory problems then scoliosis correction surgery will be done. Scoliosis as such won't cause any complications during pregnancy. But in high cases, there will be restriction of space in the abdomen. This leads to breathing difficulty for mother, back pain, etc. Yes, scoliosis altering the spine balance and normal movement of the patient will cause uneven wear and tear of the joints in the patient. So, in long run, scoliosis will increase the chance of arthritis for the patient. Scoliosis correction is a major surgery. So, it should be done under proper guidance. The best doctor to treat scoliosis is a one trained in spine surgery, especially neurosurgeons or orthopedicians.